Uh, welcome to my video for um, I'm doing a full oil change for my Zontes Monster. I'm currently done 231 kilometers since new. It doesn't really need an oil change as of yet, but I always like to do so anyway. Um, it helps to get to know the bike a little bit as well. I need to clean as well. So I rode at home in the rain yesterday from work. Um, so we need to, in my opinion, a full clean now. Um, so let's get started. Tools required to perform an oil change on a Zontes Monster. Um, the same tools required for most motorbikes um, and scooters for that matter. Uh, something to drain the old oil into. Um, a socket to remove the drain plug. It's a 17 mil and we're going to be cleaning out the oil filter today as well so I'll require a 24 mil socket for that and obviously in this case a half inch arm, ratchet arm. Put the Zontes on its main or centre stand. Um, this keeps the bike level and helps the drain of the oil. Um, if you're using another model of motorcycle or if you remove the stand for some reason um, get a paddock stand for the back which will raise the back and give the bike a steady footing. Um, the engine must be warmed first um, to ensure the oil runs freely. Um, don't run it really hot so the oil's too hot because you're, uh, you will end up coming into contact with it. Um, put the oil drain container underneath and get your tools ready. And it's also useful to have a cloth um, because when the drain plug comes out, yeah, oil will inevitably cover it and your rare uh, socket sand. Take the 17mm socket and add it to your uh, arm or ratchet. Place it over the bolt, like so. the wrenches of the correct direction and undo in theory then ensure you're using gloves preferably waterproof or latex gloves and keep an eye on the washers Much better to try and keep hold of the um, the plug rather than it drill it won't have to fish through. There we are. That wasn't bad at all. Hardly any. And let the shockingly awful oil drain out. This should take quite some time. So we shall come back to that. While the oil is draining the last out. I will take remove the oil filter. So change the 17mm socket for the 24mm socket. These may vary between bike models. Good to now remove the oil filter. Try and avoid dropping it in the dirty oil. You can see the filter, hopefully. There we are. And there. Not quite sure how to remove it on this case.
flip it on, so I thought normally they'd be the other way around. Apparently not. to be honest one or two bits not too bad at all okay I have um, cleared up the oil filter um, with some fresh new oil give it a rinse and then wiped clear and dry um, just with some kitchen roll reassemble so the spring and then the filter in the screw cap and if I can do this one-handed let's try and put this back in the hole Use a ratchet. Don't over tighten, I don't want to cause any permanent damage to the casing. Um, I've cleaned off the drain plug. It's worth noticing the little hub there is a magnet that collects any little files, filings and it was um, it had some tiny little filing from when the engine was new while it's being run in um, I've cleaned them off and I'm about to put the bung in as it's uh, the bike is fully drained now um, what I tend to do which is certainly not necessarily necessary is I tend to put in a little bit of Loctite on the drain plugs a bit awkward to do it one handed um, this will help make sure it stays secure, it run, fills up all through the um, through the threads. I will now go and reinsert this into the bike. Right. Just move the oil drain away and then reinsert the plug. Gently and make sure whatever you do, you do not cross thread it. There we are. Seems to be going in nice and smoothly. Do a hand tight initially. Again, it's got to be tight, but not over tight. There we go. Seems about right. Now we need to put the new oil in. We'll be using Castrol Activo Continuous Protection. Um, I was trying to buy Castrol. I think you can use effectively anything you want. Um, break the seal. screw the top. And there we are. Um, the manual says the bike takes a litre of oil on uh, at brand new and uh, 900 uh, mil afterwards. This is a litre bottle of Castrol. So I will remove the oil cap. And place down. 
the dibber on these for some reason is massive compared to uh, normal. And then we will simply place Gastrol in and drain, let it drain. And the bottle is marked, so you got a rough idea of approximately how much you're putting in. Squeezing it to have a pump in. Imagine that should be sufficient. Nope, got over 250 mil in yet. Just under, I would imagine that's around 900. We we'll give one more little squeeze for luck. And there we are. There we are. So, a one litre bottle, if you can just about see. Um, around 900 mils been put in. It's always best to put less in to begin with um, because it's easy to fill it up um, once you settle down and you've warmed the engine rather than uh, remove someone if it's been overfilled. Place the dipstick. Check there's been no uh, check your plugs on the other side to make sure they're not um, there's any oil escaping. Make sure around your seals. You usually just use either a, a, a simple cloth or your finger effectively just to make sure there's no drips. There isn't. Let it settle down. I should probably warm the bike up and um, uh, let the oil warm up, let the bike warm up and then double check for any leaks at either the oil filler point or at the oil drain point. Um, we'll also just check quickly make sure, and then afterwards um, then check the oil level using the dipstick and then if all is well you've successfully completed an oil change on your Zontes or other motorbike. Thank you very much.